What and what has the earth received from heaven since creation? The earth has received nothing from heaven since creation. Ah, but I thought that every good thing comes from heaven. For example, rain. The rain doesn't come from heaven. So where does rain come from? It is sweatation. Eh, when you sweat, it becomes what? Evaporation. Yes. Then when evaporation has evaporated, it becomes cloudation. Continue. So sweatation, evaporation, cloudation, raination. So what goes from man comes back to man. Nothing comes from heaven. What about children? Children don't come from heaven. Children come from a technology called procreation. Why do you say so? A doctor can get a woman and a man together and program them to produce a boy and they will produce a boy. And a doctor can get a man and a woman and program them to produce a girl and a girl will come out. Continue. Doctors can harvest your sperm, harvest your egg, mix it together without you and you involved and bring five children for you and they'll be standing looking like you. Blood of God. Odima, what advice do you have for married people? If you're married and pregnancy has been a prayer point, grab your wife, lay hands on her and tell her, I give you 30 days to get pregnant. Take it. Then do the, do the needful. What if it didn't work out? If you do once, it doesn't work. Program yourself for 30 days non-stop until it goes in. Odima, what about God? Where does he live? God does not live in heaven. Ah, why do you say so? In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. If there was a day when God created heaven and earth. Yes. Where was he? Before that day, anywhere he was, that is where he is. Because he said, I am the Lord. I change it. So what do you have to tell people now about saying anywhere? Your goal should not be heaven. If your goal is heaven, it's a stupid goal.